Are you just starting with automation and PLCs? Are you interested in learning Siemens PLC programming? Don't worry, we've got you covered. In this video, we'll explore a free resource that breaks down the basics of Siemens PLCs and programming software. So, let's get started. First, open your browser and then search for Siemens.com. Click on the three lines in the upper corner of the page. Choose Company and then select Sustainability. Afterward, click on Education and Learning. Choose SCE and then navigate to Learning and Training Documents. Here, you'll find numerous modules covering various topics such as TIA Portal and PCS 7. Select the module that interests you. For example, let's explore the first one, TIA Portal Modules, Module and Concept Description. On this page, all available modules are presented, and by selecting a module, you can explore the topics it covers. Let's continue with the exploration of TIA Portal Modules, Module, and Concept Description. Here, you'll notice that Siemens specifies the versions required for that module, which range from V13 onwards. This means you can use V13 or later versions. Additionally, the module covers various topics, and it's designed for somatic controllers such as IoT 2000 EDU, S7500, S7200, and S7300. Click on the plus sign to delve deeper into this topic. You'll observe that this document is accessible in both PDF and DOC versions, while other topics might offer a PPT version. Additionally, you'll find options for different languages. Let's explore the English version in PDF format. Next, let's venture into more advanced subjects, such as advanced programming. In this topic, Various versions are available based on the controller used, whether it's S7500 or S7200. For example, let's choose the PID controller S7200. As mentioned earlier, the training document is available in two versions and three languages. Take note that there's another ZIP document labeled Projects. Upon clicking this icon, the zip folder is automatically downloaded to your device. After downloading the zip file, extract it into a folder. Next, click on the TIA Portal file to open it. If you are using a higher version of TIA Portal, the software will automatically upgrade it. The downloaded project will remain unchanged and a new version will be created to align with your TIA Portal version. Refer to the instructions in the document for more details about the project and how to proceed. That's the end of our video. If you enjoyed our content, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. See you next time!